Hey Lauren, it's Friday! Alright Lauren, so just check this out. Check this out! It's December. <laughs> That's my I'm happy it's December dance. See, I can't do lights. I have a dog that eats everything. So I do that. Every time I'm like, hey, it's December, I do a little bit of... So you know what I just realized? I realized that I haven't actually followed through on my promise and told you the E.T. story of doom. Alright, so maybe there isn't doom involved, but it was traumatic. Not many people can say they've only had one birthday party their entire lives. I am one of them. And it is all because... Of e. Being a small lad in Australia, there was a strong pecking order on the playground, and unfortunately, as previously discussed, I was at the bottom. Well, except for that one kid who smelled like poo, but, you know, basically the bottom. So for my eighth birthday, my parents decided to try to make me some friends, and invited, you know, just a random sampling of kids from my class. Now, I'm not quite sure how they did it, but they managed to pull in for my birthday party every single kid in my class who had beat me up, made fun of me, and generally made my life a living hell. It was the birthday party of doom. I gotta stop doing that. The first part of the birthday party was okay. I think the residual effects of their parents going, you be nice, you know, carried them through the first little bit. But once we got to sitting down and watching the movie E.T., which I'd really wanted to see, uh, things went downhill. <laughs> you know, halfway through the movie, the bit where the kid's riding the bicycle and he's flying, I look up and I'm the only one in the room and I go, oh crap, where is everyone else? And so I go and I find them in my bedroom, all of them with my underwear on their head, running around, making fun of me and breaking my stuff. And that was the last birthday party I ever had. So you can see, I've kind of associated E.T. with that horrible, horrible feeling of underwear on people's head, apparently. Yes. I guess it's not that bad. Maybe I should watch it again. Finally, now that I have told my E.T. story, I must say that your house looks quite wonderful, Lauren. It is very festive. And the snow lick looks awesome! Where the heck did you find that? I really wish, I'm hoping, well I doubt it will happen, but it would be nice to get some cool Doctor Who stuff for Christmas slash birthday this year. It would be nice. You know, we'll see. I, I doubt it, but we'll see. So, yes. Um, anyway, really jealous. Place looks nice. Curse you! And I'll see you on Monday.